Hello. So Kobedo is going to explain to you a home draw away odds calculation and also um, some setting of market prices and how to recognize value in Betfair markets. This is about international club competitions, for example UEFA Champions League and UEFA Europa League games. And the examples are Real Madrid against Manchester City, Dortmund against Ajax and Manchester United against Galatasaray. All of those matches played in September 2012. If you go on Betfair, uh, for example, the match Real Madrid, Manchester City, you find odds of 1.61, 6.2, 4.5. You can put them into the spreadsheet, <clears throat> 1.61, I have put them already in, and you can of course calculate the odds expectations yourself. How this is done, I a quick um, explanation here. Real Madrid, this is all about counting, has played the last 30 matches at home, uh, in competitive games, Spanish Premier League, Champions League, Comba del Rey, no friendlies, and they have won 25 out of the last 30 matches, which makes 80%. This 24, three draws, three times away wins are put in this table. The same is done for the opposition team, in this case Manchester City. They have won 15 away matches, seven times there was a draw and eight home wins. The first set of odds is simply calculated by building the average, 24 plus eight divided by two is 16. 16 out of 30 is 53.33% and one divided by 53.33 is corresponds to odds of 1.88. Of course, Real Madrid and Manchester City do not play in the same country, not in the same league. So, therefore, this set of odds needs to be corrected. And the correction factor are competitive matches of international tournaments. For Real Madrid, for example, those are the home matches which they have played within the Champions League in the last few years. Again, at home against Mario's team from Europe. And again, the counting is done nine times. Real Madrid has won and one time the away team. Same done for Manchester City's away matches within the Europa League and Champions League. And Manchester City was three times successful and went home with a victory. Five times the home team won and three draws, two draws. These figures are taken again into the spreadsheet. This is done automatically once the figures are put in in the individual tabs. 9 plus 5 divided by 2 is 7. 7 out of 10 is 70%. 1 divided by 70% is 1.43. And the last step is just simply 1.88 plus 1.43 divided by 2 is 1.62. Simple as this. 1.62 is the expected odds average uh, when Real Madrid meets, meets Manchester City. In this particular match we are observing the market odds are pretty close at 1.61 and if you look at the bookmaker opening odds for example take at 365 they have opened on the 31st of August at odds of 1.62 absolutely exactly as calculated. Uh, however the uh, draw odds are 4.2 and the away odds are at 6. If you look at the spreadsheet, you can see that the true odds for the draw should be 7.5 and the away odds should be 4. This is exactly the opposite round. This is not because it's a mistake made by the bookmakers. It's just simply that if the bookmaker lays a bet, then uh, in this case of 1.61, this is a bet the bookmaker is not expecting any profit. The next bet bettors are probably likely to go for is going to be the draw. Therefore, if the bookmaker lays this bet, they are expecting a long-term profit of 66.7%. This means with this profit, they can finance uh, to give Manchester City a slightly higher price. This is also seen if you look at Betfair and you look at the market volume, 
you can see that the majority of people are actually betting on Real Madrid. 2.1 million pounds matched in total of this 2.1 million, 1.9 million have been put on Real Madrid. The draw has been has attracted uh, 99,000 pounds so far and Manchester City 168,000, but of course uh, Manchester City's odds are all almost twice as high as the draw. Uh, bookmakers, when they calculate, they always have at least one set of odds where they know that they are going to make quite a nice profit. Next match is Dortmund against Ajax. Dortmund's odds are 1.41, 9.4 for Ajax. We have a look at the calculation. 1.41, 9.2, and in this case, of course, the calculation of the true odds has been carried out exactly the same as explained. You will see that Dortmund's odds are overly, are vastly underpriced. However, the draw is pretty much close to the true odds calculation. As already said, this is most and often the case that at least one set of odds is set exactly and then the bookmakers judge which team is going to get a higher volume and if Dortmund plays Ajax I think it's pretty obvious that Dortmund is going to attract a higher volume than Ajax and even if bookmakers put the odds for Dortmund at as low as 1.41 they are still going to attract the higher volume. You can again have a look at Betfair's um, um, turnover, 445,000 matched on Dortmund only. Ajax has attracted 9,300 pounds, close to nothing. The bookmakers know because um, it's a German, it's a German champion. They can just put the price down. If bookmakers lay the price, they are expecting a mathematical advantage of 62.6%. This means on long-term run, laying as slow as 1.4 for teams like Dortmund in, in a match where Dortmund has actually a real chance of 43.61% and 1.41 stands for 70.9%. This means bookmakers are expecting 62.6% profit. Every pound they are going to have to pay out in this four out of ten occasion, a team like Dortmund will win. They are going to collect 60 pence back again on long term. If the back or backs back, then the long term deficit is going to be 38.5%. So, this is the definite loss backers are going to be exposed to if they do not care for its calculation. The same situation is to be observed for the match Manchester United against Galatasaray. Manchester United priced at 1.33. 1 1.33, their fair odds far, far closer to 2.55. Again, if you back them, the long-term deficit is 47.9%. If the bookmaker lays them 92% profit, they are looking at, at long-term. Another thing i like to um, draw your attention, please, if you look at Manchester Galatasaray, you can see on the first glance that the volume of money waiting to be matched on the backing side is pretty much higher than the volume of people who are actually asking for back bets. The same is on the Dortmund side. 52 plus 83 plus 20 is far, far higher than 12,000 plus 6 plus 11. So this means people who use Betfair and work there as bookmakers, they exactly know that those prices are far below value and they are keen on fleeing them because this is going to guarantee them a long-term profit. On the other hand, if you have a look at Real Madrid, Manchester City, 80 plus 88 plus 52 is pretty close to the uh, other side of lay bets. This shows that in this market, uh, especially traders are active and that uh, people are not overly keen to lay more than to back back again. Uh, those are um, 
the things where you can see pretty fast which matches you actually want to calculate. You can use this as a rule of thumb, however, before you start committing yourself with larger amounts of money to those kinds of bets, you should be pretty clear how the market works and understand odds calculation. And of course, you are welcome to buy the spreadsheet, which will help you to get your head around odds calculation. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. You simply fill in the full-time results and half-time results for the respective teams and questions. Then you fill in the last 10 matches in European competitions, one team at home, the other one away, and then the spreadsheet does accounting for you. Then the only thing what remains to be done are filling in the odds, and then you can see where the market has mispriced teams and develop your own strategy. Very much, thank you very much for listening. Sopra